Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. So in today's video, we are going to learn about pipelines. So in Jenkins, we'll create a basic pipeline and understand how it works. But in order to do that, let's understand what exactly is a pipeline. So a pipeline is a suite of plugins which support implementing and integrating continuous integration or continuous delivery into Jenkins. Secondly, pipeline provides an extensive set of tools for modeling basic to complex delivery and release pipeline. So what does that mean? So if you can see on this diagram, there are few steps that are in a pipeline. We are using Jenkins over here. So the first step would be the person who is developing the code or a developer you can say commits a code into any kind of SCN. It could be Git related, it could be code commit or it could be Azure, anything. The next step is the build step. In this build step, you'll build the artifact. The artifact could be any jar, war, or any year file if you're working on a Java platform, or a DLL file if you're working on a .NET platform, or anything. Then you'll conduct a few tests. Test can be a JUnit test, a NUnit, XUnit, or any web-based test or API testing or anything. After that, your artifact will move to the stage environment. Stage environment is kind of a copy of an environment of a production level. And then you might have a dev environment or a QA environment or any environment to test your builds or test your product. After that, once you're convinced, you'll move to the production. So that's how a general pipeline looks like. Uh, it can differ depending on your plan or depending on your product or anything. So that's the basic idea of how a pipeline works. So pipeline can also be known as the lifeline of any project. So Today we are going to run a basic pipeline and for that let's get started. So let's go to the dashboard and on left side click on manage Jenkins. Scroll down and click on manage plugins. Choose available option over here and type build pipeline. It will search the build pipeline plugin and show it in the first place. Select the plugin. Scroll down and click on install without restart. Depending on your internet speed, it will install all the run condition java.doc etc. We'll fast forward it. Once done, you can see that everything is successful. Click on restart Jenkins. On the top, it will show Jenkins is going to shut down. It will take some time. As you can see that it's running. Refresh the page. Once it's done, and it'll log in. It'll ask for a login. Click on sign in. Now you can see that it has been restarted. Click on plus sign. You can see that build pipeline view is the new thing that is available after the installation of plugin. Type the view name first pipeline and click on OK. In the description box, you can give up any kind of description like this is my first pipeline. Once done, scroll down. You can see an option of upstream downstream config. So there are two jobs already which we have created in the last video. Select one, I will select private repo. You can choose options from here, column headers. You can select just the build number, name and number. In the row headers, uh, you can select anything. We'll just go with the pipeline number. Come down, nothing else. Click on apply and OK. Once done. This is you, you can see in, on your screen the view of a pipeline. There is only one step over here and you can see the details, my name, the, the date, etc. and the pipeline number. Click, click on console output and it will show you the details of what has been done in this build step. Close it. Now run it. It will turn yellow as it is running. And once it's green, it means it has completed successfully. You can see the details, the time, the number of the pipeline and the duration. Click on console output and you can see the same details over here that it's been successful and who started it. Close it. Now what we'll do is let me open a new dashboard on a new tab. We'll go in the private repo which we used for our previous pipeline. Left side, configure, 
scroll to the down down and select the post build actions here click on build other projects now here we'll choose the public repo which is the other project that we created it's a downstream project for the one which which we have created now apply and save now let's go back to the pipeline which we created now we will refresh it and you can see now there are two steps in my pipeline private repo and public repo this is blue because it has not been run this is green because this is run and successful let's run it you can see this it's yellow because it's running it's green that it is successful and on your right you can see it is blue because uh, it has not been run yet it will take some time now it's green which means that it has been successful you can see the details on the steps so this is how it's done guys so guys a lot of people ask questions that why do we need pipelines in real world and why do why do i need this kind of plugin so when we have many components in our project to build we cannot do everything in one step thus we create a pipeline and dedicate one job for one step now this can be done using post build action as well which i showed you but this helps us visualizing projects in a better way it is much friendlier way that help us see the whole pipelines at a glance so this is basic idea of how pipeline works we will work on more complex pipeline with more number of steps in the future so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video